Hello, welcome back to another Generation Gap Reacts video. We are doing our next Patreon member song choice, and this was suggested by Edward Robel, and it's Postmodern Jukebox Africa. Oh, okay. I don't know if I've ever heard of this before. Yeah, I have not heard of it either. Okay, it'll so, be a <laughs> surprise for both of us. It'll be a new one for both of us, and um, I have no idea what to even expect. I know Africa is a song by Toto, so or maybe this is a different song. I guess we'll find out. I, <laughs> I guess we'll find out, so here we go. Check this out. Do you uh, remember Casey uh, Abrams? Who, who is he? Which one is he? The one with the long hair and he's holding the cello. He was from one of the singing shows, um, American, American Idol. Idol. American Idol. Okay. <laughs> and I watched his season. He was incredible. Did I see this season? I think we watched it together. We used to watch American we used to Idol watch, yes, together. We, Sorry to pause it, but I recognize Casey Abrams. I don't have my glasses on, so oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to see a close-up of him or hear his voice. Remember, he was like a redhead, and he had that really raspy, kind of sexy voice. Wow, he was you, just, you have a good memory. I really liked him from American Idol, and then I've seen some of his YouTube videos because he does covers and he does his own music, so I've seen some of his other stuff post-American Idol. Well, I do like his hair from here, but I can't see his face. So. And it is Toto, a Toto cover. Um, and it just sounds completely different. No, oh, I can see 50 style Toto cover. Oh, I didn't read that before. <laughs> I guess if I read that, that would have given me a little bit of a clue, but. Well, nothing's happened so far, but so far I like it. Okay. <laughs> I hear the drums are cooling tonight. She hears only whispers of some quiet conversation. She's coming in 1230 flight. The moonlit wings reflect the stars that guide me towards salvation. I stopped an old man along the way, hoping to find some long forgotten words or ancient melodies. As if to say, hurry boy, it's waiting there for you. It's gonna take a lot to take me away from you. But there's nothing that a hundred men no more could ever do. I bless the rains down in Africa. It's gonna take some time to do the things we never had. They grow restless, longing for some solitary company. I know that I must do what's right. As sure as Kilimanjaro rises to Olympus above the Serengeti. I seek to cure what's deep inside. Frightened of this thing that I become. It's gonna take a lot to drag me away. We need to give an award to the guy behind the piano who's got the, oh, what is that thing called? Tambourine? Tambourine? Yeah. And he's just like, did you see that guy? No, I didn't even notice him. I was oh my gosh. focused on the singer. Oh my gosh. You have to look at him in the background. That guy is bringing so much energy. I couldn't help but to point him out. Holy cow, that guy. He's just like... <laughs> You gotta watch the guy with the okay, tambourine okay, I'll in watch the background. It. And I just think that this is a very interesting take 
on the original song. Totally different. Completely. But it's a fun song. It's fun. It's fun, and I don't recognize him. At, but, you know, when we used to watch American Idol, there were so many contestants, and we yeah. watched it year after year after year. So I, I don't rec You have a good memory. I might have a little bit more of an advantage because I kind of followed him after the fact. Oh, okay. You know, I was watching his YouTube videos and stuff. So I have a little bit. Uh, I, I recognize him instantly. Yeah. But, okay. personality all those crazy faces he reminds me of me yeah with all those crazy faces my my nickname back in the day was Jim Carrey I've, I haven't done crazy faces for YouTube so nobody has seen them but I've seen them <laughs> mom has seen them do you do you, did he not remind you of me as he was doing all those crazy I have makeup on so I don't want to ruin it or crack my skin because my skin's kind of dry today by doing all those bleh, crazy faces that he was doing. <laughs> I, I, I feel oh, like our yeah. souls are connected. I, I get him, you know? He's so silly. Yes, he's very animated, that's for sure, with all his expressions. <laughs> and, then, and then when the guy was playing the guitar and it was like, um, you know, their faces were blowing because he was just shredding that guitar so much it was creating, I don't know what you would call it, like a blast. Blast Zone. <laughs> that was a fun song. Lots of comedy in there. Yeah. <laughs> Just a very interesting take on the song. I will have to admit, though, when the song first started, I felt like he was singing in a part of his voice that wasn't as strong, and it didn't seem to match the song. But then once it got into the second verse and the choruses, it was different and it changed and it picked up and I thought it sounded a lot better. Personally. But the song came together, I feel like, after that first verse. And then after the first verse, I think that um, that's when his voice really came out and it's like, okay, that's the Casey Abram voice that I remember and that is... That, oh, that rasp. And he has a lot of soul in his voice, yes. too. He sings with a lot of soul and a lot of passion. He's so much fun. Did you finally catch the tambourine guy? Yes, I did. But I was so <laughs> focused on the singer that I I wasn't really paying. But you're right. Next, I'll, I'll watch this again, and I'll pay more attention to him and what's... I know there's a lot going on. There was a lot Dancers, going on. Dancers, musicians, mm -hmm. I like the black and white floor. There was just a, the piano. Yeah. The horns, the guitar. Yeah, the, the horns. Lot. I forgot about, I, I was thinking when the horns came, I'm like, oh, mom's going to like that. I love the horns. Yes. <laughs> um, it was a very creative video, I thought. Yeah. Very yeah. creative and fun. It was a lot Upbeat. of fun upbeat something that you can just dance to took a totally different they they took the song and just made it completely different and unique definitely gave it that that 50s flavor and honestly I love the cello I you know how you've always said that you would want to play the flute which I feel like is not the most popular instrument and that's why I always thought you know good for you because you know most people want to play piano or guitar or drums or something along those lines. 
flute isn't like everybody wants to play a string instrument or a piano. And then I thought, oh, flute. That's such an interesting, you know, choice. I would have always wished to play the cello. Really? And I completely forgot about that until I saw this, but I always thought, I feel like the cello is such an underrated instrument, especially out of all the string instruments. Imagine you know? on music day bringing that cello to school. Exactly! I remember being in high school and, you know, everybody's, oh, and then also, okay, let me finish my thought. Whenever they would, the musicians, the students studying music or were in, I don't know, the band or marching band or whatever, but I don't think there's a cello in marching band, but when they were in music and the person bringing the cello to school every day, I was like, good for you. And then in marching band, I don't know what that horn is called, but it's like that big horn that like sits on their shoulders and it's like, it comes out to here, and whenever you see that person in the marching band blowing that horn, it's like, dang, <laughs> you have to carry that around with you You everywhere. have to really be in love with those instruments. Yeah, but I always thought cello would be so cool. Because everybody thinks of guitar or violin when they think of a string instrument, but I always thought cello seemed cool. And then it just like was really showcased in this video mm -hmm. because the singer was playing the cello, so anyways. <laughs> it was just a, a very upbeat song. Yeah. And I, again, I don't recognize him. He's got really wonderful, long, curly hair. Yeah, very um, uh, thick. Yeah, what am I trying to say? He has hair that you would be jealous of. I am jealous. Envious hair, that's what I was trying to say. He has envious hair. Yes, I like his hair. And you know, men, when they grow their hair out, sometimes I get envious and jealous because they don't have to do anything to it. I mean, I don't know Casey's hair care routine, <laughs> but I've known men with long hair and then I ask, what do you do? How is it so silky? How is it so shiny? How, how do you not have any like flyaways? How do you not have any issues with your cowlick? How do you not have frizziness? I don't do anything to it. Just wash it. And, and just then, wash it. And then walk up the door. Air dry it. And this is, oh, well, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> so I wonder if he's the same way. Anyways, Probably. Man. <laughs> <laughs> this video is bringing, a lot, bringing out a lot of the chit chat, isn't it? We love to chit chat. Thank you, Edward, so much for suggesting this song. Um, I haven't listened to a Casey Abrams song cover in a really long time. So this was a lot of fun. And mom finally got to to listen to him. Like, yeah. I Well, I'll have to show her some of his American Idol videos because maybe it'll jog her memory. Probably. But thank you so much again. Um, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel and we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you, Edward. <laughs> thank you, everyone, for watching. Bye. Bye.